Hello and welcome once more to Europa Universalis 4. Alright, so it's been a long time since I was uh, was actually able to record. Um, unfortunately, since I changed my computer, it actually means that I need to start this up yet again. So we'll start with a local save game. Uh, it will be Castile, of course. Uh, Castile LP Reboot. Uh, sure. Alright, so it's been... Uh, Actually, I started this campaign a couple of times now. Uh, the first episode, I was not really happy with how the software recorded this. And the game is freezing again? No, alright. I actually started this one again. Alright, so right now I am going to start to use OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, to record. I'm not going to use Fraps because, well, I'm not liking the last version of Fraps. And since I'm not liking that, I'm not going to use it. Oh, Burgundy is friendly towards me. Brilliant. And I have a diplomatic guy. A statesman. And mission-wise, Aragon and Morocco are my rivals, so we have the formal alliance with Portugal cheese that we can actually use again. Alright, so goals of this campaign. Um, stopping the colonizers, for one, and then we'll see how it turns out from there on out. Um... I want to be almost the sole colonizer on North America, at least for a long time, uh, until 1600, if I can help it. Uh, that means dealing with France, dealing with England, Portugal, Denmark, to a lesser extent Norway, if they actually uh, get the uh, break free of the Union, get Brittany, uh, deal with Brittany, get the uh, Iberian wedding to fire, whilst they have Naples. Um, what else? Take North Africa, probably take all of Africa, actually. I want Africa for myself. Uh, then later on, move my capital over here, so I can actually have a connection and have everything nice and pretty. Um, Alright, so that's my plan, however, for this game. However, it will take a while to do. So, right now in this patch, there was an... Uh, I'm playing with 1.11.4? I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. Uh, right now, they actually trust, or they take into consideration the uh, plus 50 on the offer alliance, so that's nice. I'm not going to ally England, England will be one of my first targets, um, and as such, we are going to do what we do best. So we're going to put Aragon in, and we are going to put England in, because we are going to be fighting them quite often, and we'll save the last spot for Portugal. Now, I am going to get an alliance with France and Burgundy. We'll get them both. We'll get the dip rep guy to help us out on that. If I can get the national unrest, I will grab that guy. And for defense, morale of armies, you're in. This means we actually have a plus 25 morale to start. So we start with uh, 3.2. Which is very, very nice. So, uh, mission-wise, from alliance with Portugal, advancement of religion gives us a missionary strength uh, with national unrest. I'm not going to do that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Dispute of succession. Don't care. We're probably going to have to marry France in Burgundy uh, quite soon. Um, as soon as my dip guys arrive, we are going to send them to Portugal. Alright, so they both accepted. Now, they should be just fine. You are fine-ish. You are fine. Alright, so because you are friendly, it should help us out in maintaining that alliance. So, both my diplomats arrived. Let's get an alliance with Portugal because that is my mission. Yep, rewards 25 Diplo. Uh, to, 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 to Ponce de Leon and Alvaro de la Cerda. Alright. Alright, so we got the mission. Oh, good. Royal marriage with Portugal. Thank you very much. Get, accept that. Let it do what it does best. And we'll start to patrol in Sevilla. Move this army over to Andalusia. Hope that Ulster didn't ally anyone. They are improving relations with Scotland. We will need to ally Scotland, though. Because this will be our first war. I need to get into Ulster so that I can fabricate claims up here. I could get to Leinster as well, which is it's a little bit closer. I can core both, though. 
Uh, let's see, you have military sticks, so there's a chance you are actually fabricating claims, you are diplomatic, so no. Uh, this means... this means what? Nothing, because I need to fully annex them. So there's no this means anything. Alright, so improve our prestige, thanks, and we will be declaring war quite soon for this guy. However, first I need to assign these two guys. I need to kill off my heir, but I also need to kill off my king. My heir takes precedence though, so we'll take care of that soon. Right, so 198 gold, we'll need to start building carracks. Build three, as is usual. And we will start to build two Latin infantry. Actually, we can build the three of them. And let's carry on. Okay, so I have that done. Let's set Portugal as a rival there. That should break the alliance. Next month I'll start fabricating claims. Alright, next month is 22nd. I'll start to fabricate claims. I need to offer alliance with you because I don't want that aggressive expansion to be uh, that big. So we can already get into a war over here. I will put my other guy in improving the relations maybe with Burgundy. I can't until 12, 11, 12, uh, we are going to wait, I don't need to start fabricating claims anyhow, first, 22nd, yeah. Fabricate claims, we'll start in Porto, sure, start there, Burgundy will start to improve relations with you after I declare the war, so this will be a 26. France, England, we are enemy of enemies, so they they shouldn't break the alliance. Um, <laughs> yeah, improving Scotland and Leinster. You are probably fabricating a claim, same as you. Okay, so declare war. I need my guy in here. I'm going to declare war before the end of the month. Uh, this way, I'm actually going to take a little sick on the aggressive expansion already. So instead of 39 and 29 with England, oh boy, we are actually going to receive a little bit less, probably 27 and 37, because it will reduce at the end of December. So that's the goal anyhow. We'll be rolling at minus two stability for a while though, so let's get it done. Uh, speaking of which, I am going to be focusing on admin. <coughs> Alright, so we are now at war, we are going to Ireland, so I can launch a preemptive assault on the Englishman. We'll attach to transport after I put my air, yep, in charge, and we'll move to Tyrone, where we will disembark and do what needs to be done. So, I'm not going to royal marriage them, I'm going to actually uh, fabricate a claim uh, through... Ooh, they went cordial or defensive. I always say cordial. Um, we're going to fabricate a claim to solve the alliance and just fully annex release as vassal or just vassalize them straight up. We'll see. Uh, but I need Scotland as a vassal to actually fight against England. It helps. Although, yeah, it's probably better to do it in two wars, maybe. So this should be a win. They are not recruiting troops. Burgundy broke the alliance. Yeah, th I was afraid of that. And they are friendly again. Now to offer alliance. We are on an offensive war. Not entirely sure why they broke it, but okay. Nope, Scotland, sorry. I do not want to marry you. Right, so we are fabricating a claim here. I'm not going to need a claim on English territory over there. We'll get to it. Rest assured. There goes our amazing morale. Let's ask for military access. No, let's not. But we are still making money, which is good. Right, so first war is on the way. Uh, we are going to get truce expired in 1448, which will be more or less at the same time that we declare war for Portugal. Uh, Granada, yep, allied with Morocco. I'm going to let them declare on Morocco probably first. Uh, beat them up a little bit and then use that to kill them, but we'll see. Early Carrick will build up there. 
blockading, which is nice. Minus 21. My air has a siege value of zero. Well, we are already a little bit worse. Actually, it's two. Ah, there we go. Just looking at the artillery. Okay, and I forgot to see what the combat white was. Uh, that's a shame. Right, I'll probably end up uh, taking these provinces for myself. We'll see, though. Um, an Irish guy as a vassal wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, it really wouldn't. Um, mm -mm -mm. So France should be in this in this war for a long time, though. So we'll see. It's already positive. They will accept the alliance after uh, this war is done. So that's good. Joan, it's a shame. You have Ferran, so it's a male as well. I need to get a female over here. Hopefully I will be able to. 30. Need to get the Iberian wedding to fire as soon as possible. Because I'm going to feed Aragon. Because that this is free land. All of this, all of Aragon is free land. Alright, so Ulster is done. Uh, I got no diplomats. Well, let's recover this guy. Alright, so no prestige gain from that. Super peace, full annexation. Almost no one will care. Brittany will take a 7, which is not bad. There we go. We'll need to core this one, but first I need to bump up my... Well, we'll need nothing. I need to core this one. So we'll core it, and they should accept... Oh! Broke alliance. Now it should accept. I cannot. Right. You need to improve relations with me, Brit uh, Burgundy. You really should improve relations with me. Ah, France is defensive, Jesus. Yeah, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Aggressive expansion with you, 12. Right, I need to start fabricate claims on this guy. So we'll start on Meath, because that's easy. We'll improve the autonomy in here. Grab the these guys and return them home. Let's move them home. Let's move them home. Alright, minus the stability. Uh, 108. I need to wait. My legitimacy is going down the drain with this. Which is not good. Conquest against Portugal. My diplomat is here. Let's start to fabricate another claim. This time around, beta. So we'll start with that. 172 chance of being discovered. Not really liking that. But oh well. My hope is that France will put uh, Austria and Erdogan as rivals, because if they put Burgundy, that's going to be a shame. They are in relations with Cleves, they are not in relations with me. That is concerning. Come on, Brittany. Improve relations with me. <sighs> this is stupid, because if I get the alliance... Alright, so one thing. They changed this. They changed so if you actually have a minus something, you can actually try to offer the alliance. If you have a minus 49, you can offer an alliance and they can accept if they are friendly. However, because I'm minus 32, I cannot offer an alliance. But if I offer them, we'll be at plus 50. Or it be at plus 50, so it will be at 18. Why can't I, no I offer an alliance like this? That is just... Plain old dumb. In supporting the independence of Sweden, guaranteed by France, Connor and Castile. Yeah, I need to get into a war, aka Portugal or Aragon, where they will join me, and then I will take care of Scotland. And that is what I need to do. Because they are being guaranteed. England will not uh, take care of Scotland because I am here. However, England can take care of me. Hopefully not. Uh, Navarro with England, that's good. That's really good. I'm hoping that they... Yeah, they won't. No one is actually improving relations with them. Which is good. Right, bump up the stability. I'll need that. February. <coughs> right, so I have a claim on England. 
Aggress expansion wise, let's take a look. Steel, we have a lot over here, 49, 21, 35. No one really cares other than other than England and these guys, and I don't care for England. Uh, Portugal didn't care. Ah, uh, 10, that's nothing. Castile on Aragon. Well, that's good, but I'm not going to go there. On Aragon with high prestige, please. Oh, crap. Exactly what I didn't want to have. Cannot support your independence because you do. You, have, you are loyal. Come on, Aragon, bump up your prestige. Huh, they allied England and Portugal. Well, that's a nice little set little set of alliances. Really is. Alright, let's grab my fleet, move it there. Twenty-six thousand guys. Can bump up to thirty. Let's grab a couple of cavalry. Three cavalry and one more merc. There. And we are at the limit. Now I'll try to be a little bit more um let's say efficient with my army composition at different times so we'll probably use a cavalry to flank uh, flanking can be done on two tiles if I'm not mistaken in the beginning of the game flanking uh, improve flanking yeah yeah two tiles cavalry uh, do, 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 do. where is the stats flanking range two and you have a flanking range of one, so it's it pays to have cavalry at the flanks. Let's just leave it at that. So, England, I have my claim. I'm not going to go there yet. I am going to go for Portugal first. Okay, that was done. If I get another claim, so we have Beira Porto. We'll get Coimbra first, and then Alentejo, and we'll take care of those. Now, France, you are actually fine. 28. Come on, dude, improve relations with me. Toledo, seat of new cardinal. Great. Because I don't want to marry you. Improving the papal state. I have improved my prestige, which is a pain because it's dropping. Do I want to spend an extra 8 on this? How long? Yeah, I probably do. Right, so we'll spend an extra 8 on bumping up stability. So now we are losing legitimacy by 0 0.64. Uh, okay. England and Anakin. If I were to declare war on you right now. Right, I need to break the royal marriage. We'll do that first. Uh, Anakin will join. England will not. So that's a good sign. Just need to wait until December, then we'll declare war for Portugal. And see what I can do. Alright, so... Flanking range of 2. Right now the combat uh, is 5. I do believe it. we have a base. I think we have 10. So 8 infantry and 2 cavalry? No, 6 infantry and 4 cavalry is probably one of the best compositions for now. So we'll start to do that. 6. 3 cavalry? No. Yeah, we'll probably use 8 and 4. 12,000 troops. Yeah, that's probably for the best. And we'll have one big stack of 13 uh, and that guy. Alright, sure. And we'll put our god king with a 5 shock in one army and our heir with nothing. Ah, oh, Morocco and Portugal. Brilliant. So they broke the alliance with Great Britain already. Oh, that's good. That's really juicy. Morocco will lose, though. Because Aragon did join. They are now fighting Aragon and Portugal. And Naples, of course. Ooh, Sardinian nationalists. I wonder if I should be rooting for them. Because another no CB war, it's probably not going to happen. Anytime soon. I'll need another no CB war on Byzantium. They're at war with Bosnia, probably due to Serbia. So yeah, but these guys are uh, orthodox, so I'm not really concerned with the aggressive expansion over here. We'll be fully annexing them, of course, and spitting them back out. 
Uh, it, it is best if you let the Ottomans take Constantinople. It really is. Uh, however, Byzantium only has their cores pretty much inside the Ottoman Empire now. They have claims here. Is that correct? Yeah. They have claims in Bosnia and their cores are here. They have no more cores. They don't have Kaffa, they don't have Crete, they don't have anything. Which is annoying. They used to have. And that was a great way to start. However, right now it's not a great way to start. It's not a way to start. They don't have it. So I can spit them back out. I need to take provinces from the Ottomans to spit Byzantium out. Which I'm not really particularly a fan of. Let's just say that. So yeah. I'm not going to do that. I need to vassalize them. Uh, I was saying this because there's a, a couple of decisions. Right, it's almost done. If uh, the Ottomans take Byzantium, they improve a tax base up to 15. And if the... Right, let's fabricate all in there. If uh, Byzantium actually managed to recover it again, it will bump up even more the base tax. I think it's to 20 or 25. Truce with Granada expired. That's good news. So I can actually get my claims in here. 52. Uh, they will accept yet. And with Portugal. Alright, so I'm probably going to get my cores first. Because they're my cores. Ah, that that is a shame. That is a downright shame. 20, 13, France, 10. Ah, not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too, too bad. 27. God damn it. Improve relations with me. Alright. They should start to drop the... Drop that. I'm hoping. Because I don't want to actually fight against these guys. Well, I could... You are only allied with them. You are improving relations with whom? Ottomans. Yeah, that's not good. It's at 51 still. Let's see. Next month, 51. Yeah, we are just going to go for it. Alright, so God King, lead the way. I'm going to let my God King actually take care of it first. Because God shock. And you will start to sieges. Right, let me actually take a look. No, we have a combat width of 20-ish. And I have my knights actually flanking. We have four knights is the best way. Let's do it like this, so I take no attrition when I enter the province. It's getting fixed next patch, by the way. And speaking of next patch, I am planning on making a... Um, a video showcasing, well not showcasing, but talking about the changes that are going to happen in next patch. So it should be coming out soon, and I forgot about this retreat. I lost a ship. Did I? No, I didn't. No, they did lose a ship. Good. Let's do use this one. Alright, so I'm going to put a cut in here, right as we are starting to fight. Well, we actually fought a little bit earlier on, but that doesn't count now, does it? We will try to peace out um, Morocco soon. They should be peaceable out quite soon, especially if I can uh, get... If these guys actually invade, if I can destroy their fleet, uh, they should go down like... Well, they should go down easily. This guy will get there on the 21st of May, so before these guys actually recover the morale, that's brilliant good i can chase them all right so thanks for watching if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to leave a like it really helps the channel and until next time do take care and goodbye